I said I love you. I love you. I love you back. Does love really shout? Does shouting really communicate love? I'm sorry then. <laughs> My husband. Did you just shout? I apologized. True love from the heart does not hurt. If you are watching our show for the first time, this is Naked and Not Ashamed Show. We are happy to bring to you this beautiful family content and today I am with my power man. My husband, a man I really respect and love most. And also I am blessed to have our parents on the cast, our mentors. So we have so many things, good things lined up for you. Be blessed and continue to tune in. Welcome my husband. Oh, thank you so much. It's always an honor to be on this show each and every day, just to hear what you have for us and what we have for you also. And today is also a day we want to discuss a few questions and answers. But before that, let me take this opportunity to welcome our parents, yes. the Tuatua couple. Thank wow. you. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. and Mrs. Salano, we love you and we are glad mm. to discuss. I'm, I'm so excited about our today's topic. Mm. There's a lot we are going to share. And I can tell my dear here, she's yes. only smiling because yes. she knows what is lined up. <laughs> for today wow. <laughs> yeah yes. i want to thank god for this show and i trust that you are getting knowledge mm -hmm. and the purpose of this show is that the knowledge that we are going to share and that which we have shared will also help you to become a better husband and wife mm -hmm. and also to become a better pa parent yeah. and to become a person who can be able to counsel other people in the right mm -hmm. way and i want to say that we the panelists here yeah. We are the first beneficiaries of this message and exactly. what we are teaching you, it is the kind of a life that we live and what we are not living, we endeavor to be. Mm. And so I trust that you're not just getting information, but you are practicing it with your spouse. Mm. You practice that with your children mm. so that these things can become embedded in, in you. Mm. And so I welcome you and I pray that you will carry something today in Jesus name. Thank you. I'm um, so honored today to to hear from you viewers and your feedbacks through our number that's always on the screen and also through our inboxes we have a question that we get we got from you and i would like to read the question here it says that how frequent should sex be in a marriage we have been having sex like once a month or no sex at all he is not interested in sex and i am suspecting he's having sex out there I am concerned. Dear. Tuna fanya nga marangapi? Muna fanya nanga. Ah, sisi tuna fanya nanga. Depending with how the, the, the how we are feeling uh, at that particular time. You see, sex is a commitment uh, that you make to your partner. Yeah. And uh, that's why the word of God is very clear. When yeah. you read the book of First. Uh, Corinthians 7 verse 5 mm. the Bible says that do not refuse each other mm -hmm. unless you want to give yourself to prayer and fasting mm -hmm. and so you find that uh, when your mind as a husband and a wife is not renewed by the word of God mm -hmm. and to be renewed by the word of God is to allow your mind to be controlled by what the, the pattern the yeah. principles of the word of God mm -hmm. because there's the principles that guide these other natural people who are just married yeah. so you find you will obey your feelings mm -hmm. more than obey being the commitment yeah. because marriage is a commitment mm. and so uh, it is not how many times mm -hmm. that you do because mm. you can have it but one of the partner who is the wife mm. because most of the times is the wife mm. might never reach orgasm or might never enjoy mm. so it's not how many times you are going to do it but you can have sex mm. that is quality mm. you can even have uh, three times in a week mm. but that sex is quality mm. because it's an issue of each of you satisfying each other mm. not a place to prove your performance yeah. you know because wow. who are you Almost competing mentality. with yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, I like, I like yes. uh, how you are saying that uh -huh. sex should not be an opportunity mm -hmm. to prove yourself yes. to your partner it mm -hmm. should be in fact 
there is a difference between having sex and yes. making love. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. I think couples should be encouraged that they need to make more love. Yes. Mm -hmm. More love whereby there is a lot of communication, there is a lot of openness, mm -hmm. there is a lot of authenticity, yes. and there is a lot of connection. Yeah. Conne emotional yeah. connection. So even if it is just once a week, but you are connecting emotionally mm -hmm. in a certain way, mm -hmm. that is better. And before I give back to the panel, mm -hmm. I have just noted something with a couple. Mm -hmm. There are underlying issues because first the communication is very poor. Mm -hmm. If the one of the spouses is having a challenge, the first step the she or he could have taken is to reach out to the partner. So it it seems like the partner has created those barriers communication barriers or blockages mm. uh, or maybe the the partner is feeling gaslighted ignored mm. so the only person maybe is to reach out to a, another third party mm. which is never the best nini the best first approach mm. yeah so i think there's also other issues that maybe she needs to uh, analyze mm. there could be an any emotional uh abuse going on or there are past things yeah. so there is some things that maybe are just one beer and uh, <clears throat> i think from uh, what uh, she is saying is also something that i am picking mm. from that question mm. that uh, this couple is like they have allowed sex to become a burden you know oh. it's like they have allowed sex to become a bother mm -hmm. you can tell there's the issue of now begging Mm. That is now taking place. Yeah, the wife is begging the husband. Yes. It can also be the husband begging the wife. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that should not be so. Mm -hmm. I don't know why people find it uh, to have to a tour, mm. to be a bother. Mm. And, and, and even the one who is asking that question um, is a product of to a tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I seated here today. Mm -hmm. We are a product of sex. Sex. Mm -hmm. If it was not there, we will not be here. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Bible does not say how many times mm -hmm. uh, that one should have uh, sex. Mm -hmm. uh, that one God left it to you mm -hmm. as a husband and wife because it should be done within the confines of, of, of marriage mm -hmm. to decide and to agree how to go about it. Mm -hmm. But then don't use uh, sex as a way of punishing your partner. Mm -hmm. Don't use sex as a way of trying to um, twist them. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that's what many people they do today. Mm -hmm. And when that one happens, the enemy comes in. Mm -hmm. And once the enemy comes in, it becomes very difficult. And complicated. And complicated mm -hmm. to be able to get it once again. Mm -hmm. So um, we must remove this mentality that sex is ugly. You mm -hmm. know? Uh, that sex is dirty. Mm -hmm. That sex is a taboo. A taboo. Mm. Because most of the time, when we embrace that mentality mm. and we put those thoughts, that's when you find that we are now having uh, rules and regulations, mm -hmm. you know, do's and don'ts and all that. Mm. So, sex is not ugly. Sex is not dirty. Sex is not a taboo. You know, it is God given. Mm. And whatever God has given, we should take it with thanksgiving. Wow. <laughs> Actually, mm. the word of God says in the book of Genesis, mm. chapter 1, when God blessed Adam and Eve, mm. what did he tell them? Go be fruitful and multiply. Aha. Mm -hmm. Be fruitful mm. and multiply. Mm. So, what did he bless? I suspect he blessed the vagina and the penis, okay. and uh, he also blessed the, the, the whole Adam and the whole Eve. Mm -hmm. And so what you are saying is very true, Pastor, because yes. it seems like there is a problem, and this problem is what Beredi had just said. Uh -huh. There is no communication. Okay. Or this couple could be having very little knowledge yes. about sex and the benefit uh -huh. of it. Because there are benefits that are included in sex, and these are not only for the men they also include women mm. and you see now during in marriage the people that suffer most with sex actually mm. are the women mm. because a man is automatic for him to reach orgasm yeah. as long as the vagina is there uh -huh. but when a woman is not well prepared mm. and her psychologically as you're saying she's begging yeah. she's feeling sex is a bother to the to the husband and vice versa also because yeah. we could be also be having a, 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 a man a husband mm. whose wife is also sex is a burden yeah. to her yeah. so you 
you find that uh, when mm. that mentality is ruling your mm. mind, as you have said, mm. you know the biggest sex organ is the mind. Mm. It is not the penis, it's not the vagina. Mm -hmm. And when, this, when there's not that willingness yeah. to offer your body to your partner, yeah. as a living sacrifice, not yeah. as a dead sacrifice, <laughs> you know, you just stay <laughs> there, <laughs> men, they <laughs> <be, Marisa, laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and I wonder, nini <laughs> nina you know, in a study, kuka <laughs> so that if you are, your partner wants again, he can go through it. But I think it's because of what Pastor has said. Uh, we have a very bad notion about sex. Yet it is the gift of God that God has given a husband and a wife to enjoy it in marriage. Yes. And unfortunately, those who are in marriage are the ones who don't enjoy sex. Mm -hmm. And those who are having illicit sex, sex yeah. outside marriage, fornicating, mm -hmm. you know, they are the ones who seem like they are enjoying. Mm -hmm. And this is just a paradox. Yes. Just because we don't want uh, to be selfless. Yes. Because when you are selfish, mm -hmm. you keep on giving excuses to your partner yes. that I'm not in mood, it's yes. I yes. am tired, yes. you know, I have a headache. You keep yes. giving every excuse. I have mm -hmm. a nail ache, I have hair ache. Mm -hmm. You have a X, X syndrome, uh -huh. but uh, I think at the end of the day, that's uh -huh. it's a sign that these people are not together, mm -hmm. especially emotionally. Mm -hmm. the, the emotional womb is so empty, mm -hmm. and you need to watch our video mm -hmm. that talks about how to connect emotionally uh -huh. with your husband and a wife, uh -huh. so that your marriage can stay aglow. Wow. And we have discussed in our in our yes. previous episode. So yeah. I hope you're going to see, to go and see yeah. the advantages of kissing, mm -hmm. the advantages of of, of mm -hmm. hugging, mm -hmm. you know, speaking to one another on a daily touching basis, one another, touching one another, showering uh, together. Yeah. All these things are very important because mm -hmm. that's what puts you together. Mm -hmm. uh, but when now you are not able to talk, and mm -hmm. you see most of the families when there is a conflict, mm -hmm. when there is a misunderstanding, mm -hmm. uh, the pa the place that suffers most is the bed. Uh -huh. Yeah, People will do everything else, mm -hmm. but they will not have sex in mm -hmm. marriage, which is not so because mm -hmm. in marriage, one of the things that helps you to have marriage, despite what you are going through, mm -hmm. it is separating the matter from the person. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, that uh, you know you have had an argument on yeah. the issue of money uh -huh. wow. mother-in-law uh -huh. the children but that should not be taken to the bed okay because yeah. when you see the marriage yeah. on the rocks mm. yes. they began on the bed, uh -huh. on the bed. anytime you see any marriage on the rocks they want uh -huh. to separate divorce there is tension in the house uh -huh. most of the times this confusion mm. begins from the bed. bed because that's the only place where you are joined together mm. yeah. you, you are one mm. you know you maybe mm -hmm. I, 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 I chip in small in that which you're saying mm -hmm. uh, you've said that sex is mostly about the mind yes mm -hmm. and that one I think that couples need to learn to love their spouses mm -hmm. because many marriages people are so much focused on having sex mm -hmm. than loving their partners. Mm -hmm. Their partners are just there. Mm -hmm. They are waiting for the night to come tap them or sit on them and have sex, but they never take time to love their partners. Mm -hmm. Things like dating your partner, yeah. learning what they love, their love language, and, and creating that efforts and intentions of trying, reaching out to your partner, texting them if they love text. So that at mm -hmm. night you will have to access their sex easily. Yeah. But the challenge we are having, mom, in this yes. dispensation, mm. people are on comfort zone. Mm. Like if it is a lady, you are married, you say, ah, nisha kuwana watoto. You are there, you don't care. You are shaggy, you don't shave down there, you smell sweat, and, and you don't brush your teeth. You can't even understand yourself. You are like, ah, the guy should understand I'm now a, I'm mother. a mother. And this guy is still missing the, 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 the girl, the woman. You know, you should mm. try. We are not saying we be perfect, but mm. we are saying just try to be mindful of that person. Mm. Same to the guy. He will be like, ah, to share pata watoto, sasa squeeze to have sex You see? Mm. And those things, uh, you become detached emotionally from your spouse. You leave them in their world. When it comes to them at night when you are trying to, to connect emotionally, mm. or there is a drift. So we need to have those small, small things about loving each other. Mm -hmm. We need to <laughs> encourage couples to have dates, mm -hmm. small, small dates. Mm -hmm. Buy gifts even if it is an inner wear or a pant. Mm -hmm. Small perfumes. Kiss. Mom told us the other time we need to hug yes. mm -hmm. and kiss. It has been helping us. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah, we we we, we, are, we have we have revived. Mm -hmm. So we need to love more, mm -hmm. and this sex will just follow. I also want mm -hmm. to think that. Uh, <coughs> thank you. I want. I want to think that. Uh, before even you go into the effects or the causes, mm. you said something about 
you are saying something about uh, sex, uh, m having sex and making love. Mm. Those are the two different things that uh, differentiate us between human beings and animals. Yeah. So you see like animals have sex mm -hmm. and the reason of having sex is just to, we call, the, we call it mating. Mm. The only reason of mating is to have children mm -hmm. or to have offsprings. Mm -hmm. That's why you are saying that a man will say that, no, now we have children, why do, should we have sex again? <laughs> yeah. Because their aim is to have children. Mm. But when we are making love, it will become something fun, mm -hmm. something one bit more frequently. Mm -hmm. And I also tend to think that the more frequent uh, sex you have, the closer you look and the, the, the happier you will be. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's, that's what I think because you find that couples who have sex more frequently, mm -hmm. you will see liveliness on their faces, mm -hmm. you will see brightness on their faces, mm -hmm. their marriage is lively, you see them walking and also holding hands uh, on the street. There, there, there's, there's life. Mm -hmm. But these couples who hardly have sex in their marriages, mm -hmm. there is that gap. They can't there even is that, have a conversation. Yeah, they can't sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. There's that gap, there is that you just see gloominess in their marriage mm -hmm. and that's why you're saying that now it is easier now even for the devil to come in mm -hmm. because like this lady who is uh, presenting the case here mm -hmm. if she gets a man who wants to sleep with her she can easily go mm -hmm. because she's starving that sex is not there but if you're getting enough sex from home mm -hmm. you won't have even that thought of having an infidelity case in your marriage mm -hmm. yeah yeah i also want to add yeah. something as we had said mm -hmm. that the biggest or sex organ is the mind mm -hmm. and you see it's because of the emotions when you don't connect at the emotional level yeah. sex becomes difficult mm -hmm. um, uh, because now you feel your partner is a threat to you. Mm -hmm. They are no longer friends. Yeah. It's like now there is this tension. You see them like an enemy. Mm -hmm. And I want to say this about about marriage and relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, if uh, I want to tell Pastor, no, Pastor Munene want to, to to tell me that he loves me. Yeah. You can never shout the word love. And I want even the viewers who are listening to me. Yes. I want you to listen to what we are saying. It is very hard for Pastor Munen to tell me, I love you. You know? You, can never shout love. you can't shout love. You can't shout love. <laughs> yeah. Love springs forth from your heart. Mm -hmm. That's why couples who have cultivated unity, harmony, oneness, when they are talking to one another in a loving way, mm -hmm. the tone is low. Mm -hmm. And when you are talking about love, mm -hmm. It is, I love you. Mm. You get, because it is from heart wow. to heart. Mm -hmm. Heart to heart. Yes. But when mm -hmm. there is tension, mm -hmm. there is conflict, uh, you, you shout at one another. Mm. Because you are now dealing marriage, not from the heart, mm. but from the mind. the mind. But the purpose of God, wow. any marriage that will stay and not separate and mm -hmm. divorce, mm -hmm. you must learn the art as a couple to operate your marriage from your heart, wow. not from your mind. Yes. You get that. Remember, your mind has the, 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 the mind that is responsible for thoughts mm. and it can even process negative thoughts. Exactly. We have the emotion that has the pleasurable side wow. and the hurting side. Yeah. We also have the willpower that mm. makes decisions. Mm. So when you operate your, ma your marriage from your mind, mm. you are likely to live a very fake life. Mm. And that's why you're finding there is a lot of ah. fakeness. Yes. On wow. online, you know, wow. people pretending they are together mm. and they are not. Mm. People even buying gifts. Yeah, buying gifts, mm. but you are buying it because you saw another person doing mm. it. It's not from your heart. Mm. Any marriage that will stand the test of time. Yeah. And listen to me, those who are in relationship, those who want to get into marriage, mm. those who want to stay in marriage together, mm. learn to operate your marriage, not from yeah. your your head, mm. not from your mind, yeah. not from your brain. Mm -hmm. Marriage was meant to be operated from the heart. Wonderful. Because from the heart, even your language changes. Mm -hmm. Your tone changes to one another. Mm -hmm. But when you begin, if you want to know that your marriage has been operating from the head level, mm -hmm. you find yourself having very rough, rude language to one another. Mm -hmm. It's like you command each ah. other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you always start with the C. That wow. kind of a language, Amazing. it is a sign that you are operating Amazing. your marriage from your mind. And mm -hmm. when you are operating your mind, your marriage from the mind, mm -hmm. the devil is likely to attack your mind. Yes. Remember, the greatest battle of someone who is not born again mm -hmm. and those who are born again, the battle is in the mind. Yeah. Why in the mind? Because the devil can be able to, uh, to access your mind mm -hmm. and give you suggestion. Mm -hmm. But the devil, listen to these viewers, the devil has no authority mm -hmm. to touch your heart. Even when he, was, when he went to tempt Job, God told him, touch everything else. 
you want to touch. Yes. Touch his children, touch his property, touch his wealth. Skin. But one thing mm. you cannot touch, it is his heart. God has not given wow. the devil our hearts mm. in marriage. You know for the devil to attack so mm. if you find a marriage that is separating and divorcing mm. they have operated for a very long time mm. in the mind mm. using a very toxic language mm. vaga language, vaga language yes. uh, you know and caring language yes, and kind words mm. and kind actions yes. and at the end of the day you feel this is too much mm. but if we learn to operate from the heart wow. I tell you the truth, no matter the challenges, mm. like a job, you lose your children, you lose your property, mm. you lose friends, mm -hmm. you only left the two of you mm. with God, that marriage will rebounce again mm. and kick up and move on, mm -hmm. whether there is sex or not. Why? You have learned to operate from your heart. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one of the secrets of our marriages, mm -hmm. wow. because we've had so many challenges, mm -hmm. you know, even external forces mm -hmm. coming to, to separate us, mm -hmm. coming to bring information that is very different. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that has helped us with Pastor Munene, mm -hmm. anytime we are given any information against each one of us, mm -hmm. we trust what what the other person will say exactly and he comes and tells me my wife i'm hearing one two three things mm -hmm. is it true namwambia my dear it is not true mm -hmm. when i say that it is gone with pastor monene no and matter what no matter who has said it who has said it. yes we you don't believe a, we don't believe people outside there no no we confirm from one, one another. another no matter who it is yes and he's able to sense when I'm speaking the truth. Mm -hmm. And if there's something I'm leaving, he, he, he continues to probe me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, because there's something I, uh, that has been said and mm -hmm. it coincides with something we had talked. Mm -hmm. So can you give me more details on this? You see that? Mm -hmm. Why? We are not operating now our mind from our, we are not operating our marriage from the mind, mm -hmm. from our head and from our thinking. Mm -hmm. We are operating our, our marriage from the heart. Mm -hmm. Remember, when you are born again, mm -hmm. you have a personal helper mm -hmm. called the Holy Spirit. Oh yes. The Holy Spirit does not speak to your mind. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit speaks to your heart. Mm -hmm. Then your heart sends the message to your mind mm -hmm. and your mind sends the message to the body. Mm -hmm. But the body, mm -hmm. but the devil speaks to our thoughts line, mm. speaks to our emotions, mm. then then they then they were our our mind mm -hmm. responds to the body. Mm -hmm. mm. So you find the battle is between the body mm. and the mind. Mm. But when you are when you allow the word of God, the mm. principles of the word of God to guide mm. your marriage, mm. you find you operate from the heart. Mm. You, and when it is from the heart, mm. it becomes very easy for us to solve any conflict mm. that comes in our marriage. Mm. Like in our marriage we have so many wow. conflicts wow. on many issues. Yes. Mm. Because we are too strong willed Mm -hmm. you know, partner, personalities. Yeah. So you find we have a lot of conflict, but mm. because we are operating from the heart, mm. we look at what is the intention of my mm. husband, what is the intention of my wife. Mm. And through that, we are able to come to a mm. mutual ground where we are able to focus on what we have agreed mm. and move on. Mm. So what are we saying? Mm -hmm. When we see, a, when, when I see such a question, mm -hmm. it tells you, number one, these people have been operating their marriage from the head. head. From the head. Yes. You know, uh -huh. what they hear, what they see, mm. what they feel. Yeah. You hear that? Mm. What did they see? Up. What did they hear? Mm. What did they feel? What yes, Berry. Mm -hmm. Mommy has said something that has really, really touched my spirit. Mm -hmm. That when you run a marriage with the head knowledge, mm -hmm. with the, 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 the thought, you will really have a difficulty in solving many other issues. Mm -hmm. And from what you have, Mama has spoken is that we need to empower our spirit man. Mm -hmm. Now that we have the Holy Spirit. There are mm -hmm. times even us, we could be having an altercation, but you feel the energy, you sense the energy. Mm -hmm. Your partner can come with a different energy, you tell him, this is not us. Mm -hmm. When you grow spiritually, okay, you, tr you are a child of God, you, you are born of the Spirit, mm -hmm. there is a level you'll feel, even his friend, you can know if they are safe with them, with him or not, or his energy, if it mm -hmm. changes, if it goes down, you'll sense his emotion. You can ask him and you become tactical. So that's one thing that I think really can help as a couple mm -hmm. to, to learn situations uh, above the you know it were three dimension realities mm -hmm. you can begin to see things if this is happening why you you ask why in most of the things and that is the spirit mom mama said that we need to focus more on the spirit there are times i could be like no something is not right mm -hmm. then when you ask your partner you sense actually something isn't right or i caution him about something and he come to realize mm -hmm. because you reach a point you can sense an, an energy of a friend who is real, who is not real, an energy of your husband or wife if he's struggling with something. Mm -hmm. So that one mm -hmm. can happen yes. if you have time for yourself, you have time to 
meditate, you have time to fill yourself because you cannot pour from an empty cup. Even the, the small, small issues of sex, you can tackle it you, but from your personal space and then come to your husband. Mm. Tell him, husband, we've been having this struggle. We don't have even to fight. Mm. There are things we are fighting over, so many things in our marriages because we are operating from the head. Mm. We've allowed the spirit man is so deprived, so starved. We don't feed our spirit man. We don't pray. We don't have time to, to, to re-energize. Mm. And I thank God, God mom is bringing that up because we really need to echo that. Mm. Moms, especially wives, if you are watching, I would encourage you to really empower your spirit man. Mm -hmm. There is a spirit inside you that has the intuitive powers. It has the psychic powers. It has everything that will solve so many problems, even with your spouse. You will always see a problem 10 feet ahead and you, you cut it. Mm. 